Yeah, this is pretty frickin' amazing news. She looks like Mark Ruffalo. Did Robert Downey Jr., her producer on Perry Mason, put in a good word? Her character is friends with Carol Danvers and Jessica Drew, who's about to get her own movie with Olivia Wilde directing over at Sony. But you know what? We'd love to see that female friendship in live action. So much great stuff to break down. Let's do it. So, the Marvel casting office sure has sprung to life recently, uh, because we just got Kang earlier this week. Congratulations again to Jonathan Majors. I covered that in a separate video, linked down below in the comments, uh, top of the comments. And then now we're getting She-Hulk, and it's Tatiana Maslany, who, as I just said, is excellent casting. That was pretty much the universal reaction to this headline. Wow, that's perfect. But a moment of silence for Alison Brie, who did not get the role, even though she was literally used to describe what they were looking for, an Alison Brie type. Oh, that's, that's gotta hurt. With GLOW entering its final season, who knows when we'll actually get it, of course, because the pandemic. Uh, and some of you thought Betty Gilpin would be a good choice as well. It was, you know, it, this was a real squeaker. Tatiana, Mas I mean, Tatiana Maslany has lo lost out on a lot of roles herself. So she understands how these women feel, but it was time for her to be the one to get it. But anyway, Glow is ending, and I don't know if Brie is going to be able to rebound at this point. Same for Betty Gilpin. You know, when you're around for a little bit too long, it can be tough, you know, to still seem like a fresh, exciting choice. In fact, I think if Tatiana Maslany didn't look so much like Mark Ruffalo and didn't have a, this wasn't a, interest, a difficult role to cast because of its dual nature of not only being a movie role, but also a television role, I don't even know if she would have gotten it, which is why it made it such a, such an important role for, so I, I think all these women so desperately wanted it because it was like one in a million. But I think when it comes to Brie, it makes me wonder if her marriage to Dave Franco, brother of James Franco, might make her a bit too toxic by association for Hollywood these days. Because as soon as she did any press, she'd probably get asked about that. And they're like, you know what? Let's not go there. So it's, I mean, that would be really a shame if that's the truth. But why isn't she getting any work? All right, so anyway, uh, Marvel didn't even go significantly younger, as Mislani is definitely Brees, uh, Brees and Gilpin's contemporary. By the way, her brother, Daniel Mislani, is also super talented. He's like really good. And maybe, unfortunately, Jen Walters doesn't have a brother, but maybe he could play young Bruce Banner in flashback sequences because, again, She-Hulk, a.k.a. Jennifer Walters, is Banner's cousin, and both the Mislanis look an awful lot like Mark Ruffalo, who was rumored, by the way, to be popping up in the She-Hulk series because they can't make any She-Hulks, I mean, they can't make any Hulk standalone movies because of that pesky Universal deal. I'd be like, how much is it going to take you? Universal, uh, although apparently there is no number, because I'm sure they probably tried that. But anyway, as I recently told you, the She-Hulk series is expected to feature a wide variety of Hulks. So exciting! But She-Hulk is the lead, and as female superheroes storm Hollywood, She-Hulk has been a hot yet difficult role to cast, as, we've been as I've just been telling you. You need an actress who will debut on the small screen, but whom Foggy has promised will eventually make her way to the big screen. So you need an actress willing to do TV, yet, and to debut there, because like, we don't know when she's gonna show up in the movies. That's just right now a, a promise to me from Feige. Uh, but she couldn't, she can't seem out of place when she goes there either. I know some of you are like, why can't the people from Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. show up in the movies? And you're like, because it would look weird. So that's like really tough. That's a real, something they have to consider while casting these Disney Plus shows. And I have to say, I think that someone who has one foot in TV and one foot in movies describes Tatiana Maslany perfectly. I mean, you're talking about someone who made her mark on fa fan favorite TV show Orphan Black and has been this close to landing a movie role for quite some time now. In fact, she was almost Rose Tico. That's, that's an interesting little nugget. I'll just leave that there for you to digest because I don't think there's... Well, let's just, you, you can just think about that. All right, so anyway, most recently she was on HBO's new Perry Mason, produced by Robert Downey Jr. Perhaps he went over to Kevin Feige and he said, you know, I really liked working with her. She did a great job. Or maybe he just said, hey, Kev, are you going to watch my new series that I produced? And Kevin Feige was like, oh, Tatiana Maslany's doing a pretty darn good job. Cast Matthew Reese in something. Uh, bring him over to Marvel. Uh, and I, yeah, that's my only like real exposure to Tatiana Maslany. I didn't watch Orphan Black, but I thought she did a really nice job on Perry Mason, even if the show itself was somewhat problematic. But you know what? It was entertaining, and she was very, very good. So was Matthew Reese. All right, so after playing multiple characters on Orphan Black, Mislani has plenty of experience with all kinds of roles, and she can, I'm sure, handle both the drama and comedy of the She-Hulk role. 
Uh, and I have to say, I'm really impressed that Kevin Feige didn't cast a babe, considering She-Hulk's cheesecake history in the comics. Like, really cheesecake history in the comics. They totally could have gone that way. And some of you wanted them to. I saw a couple of fan casting ideas that, you know, uh, like Alexandra Daddario, uh, which I think went a little bit more in that direction. But for the last few comic uh, runs for She-Hulk, they made her more of an Ally McBeal, a different kind of Jekyll and Hyde, more attuned to, I think, the female experience, where Jennifer Walters is a smart, shy, mousy woman, while She-Hulk is an imposing athlete who is proud of her body. That's really interesting stuff. And Ms. Lonnie can easily portray both of them. I mean, she's just a great choice, a real actress who appeals to both men and women. Uh, with, with, and with strong women behind the camera, Kat Koiro, who's directed a lot of television, but that includes Dead to Me, which is a perfect match, I feel. She's gonna be uh, taking the reins with uh, directing, uh, directing the pilot and as the executive producer slash showrunner on the show. Uh, and Jessica Gao from Rick and Morty is heading up the writer's room. So I think the She-Hulk series is shaping up to be just perfect. And as I said, it's worth noting that in the comics, Jen Walters hangs out with Carol Danvers and Jessica Drew. Oh, that's fantastic. So I would love to see that female camaraderie again brought to, li to live action soon. I know that one of them, you know, Jessica Drew stuck over in the Sony camp, but Tom Holland can come on over. Come on, do it. You know, I think Brie Larson can complain enough and maybe Kevin Feige would say, okay. Although I have to bring up that the recent She-Hulk comics that took away the cheesecake element didn't sell that well, and they continually got canceled. So hopefully with more Hulks, you know, not just relying on She-Hulk, but a bunch of Hulks showing up, which is gonna be amazing, and hopefully lots of action, hopefully the show can afford it, but you know, Disney's proven they're willing to spend the money on Disney Plus, that will help the Disney Plus series be more popular than the recent comics were. What do you want out of a She-Hulk show? And what do you think of Tatiana Maslany being cast as the cousin of Mark Ruffalo? I think it's pretty good. All right, so share your thoughts down below, subscribe today. And of course, as always, you can check out some more videos right now.